platform as the day progresses. All of this, this overflow, has prompted Mayor Eric Adams to ask for a federal state of emergency and for Massachusetts to declare one as asylum seekers flood their states and sanctuary cities. Leadership pleading for help as the tab runs up. We don't get the support we need. New Yorkers could be left for a $12 billion bill. That $12 billion bill, that's the cost for three fiscal years. At the current rate, the migrant crisis costs New York City $383 per family seeking shelters and services each day. With 57,300 individuals in our care, the city says that's a price tag of $9.8 million each and every day. A day after that public cry for help directed at the federal government, we are learning that Mayor Adams is set to meet today with Tom Perez, one of Biden's top aides. But it might be a little too late. New Yorkers are frustrated that non-residents and non-citizens are getting so much help when there are New Yorkers suffering. Protesters shared as much outside of a hospital in Queens that is set to become a tent city for migrants. Take a listen. This whole thing is only going to is going to snowball uh, because the schools are going to open in about two weeks. All right. And we're totally unprepared to handle that. Look behind us. There's a park. There's a YMCA there. We have a charter school behind us, a preschool on the side. This is outrageous. They are putting non-American before American. But as the bluest of blue states and cities complain, border states like Texas and Arizona say this is what we've been dealing with for years. The situation on the ground here, though, guys, like I said, hundreds arriving each and every day and the city expanding into whatever space they can find. Ten city at that hospital in Queens. I was out on Randall's Island converting four turf fields into a 2000 person shelter city turning anywhere they can. But the residents here very frustrated with that sanctuary city status and what it means in practice. I'll send it back to you Madison, guys. what does that mean for the kids who play soccer out there? They That's don't. a great question, Ainsley. So I actually met a coach that showed up to practice on those fields and he didn't know what he would do. New York, not a space with a lot of green space. Right. So you have to get permits, you have to get specific time slots. So he says each field is thousands of kids. Mm -hmm. So essentially taking four offline, you're yeah. impacting minimum 4,000 students in New York that desperately need green space for their mental health, for running around, for sports, and that's now right. gone. And NYU, for I think, practices there, too. Yeah, NYU, I think a lot of college teams, it's unbelievable. Everyone I know that has a child in sports, they go to Randall's Island to play. It's all about priorities.